Are you ever worried that important information from your business might be leaked out and it could happen from your staff? Hi, I'm Sanjeev, G Suite Specialist from Onsite Helper. This video will show you how to use data loss prevention in G Suite to prevent or alert you if things aren't right. The great thing is it's easy to set up. So today's video is about prevent sharing of sensitive content using data loss prevention in G Suite. So let's take a scenario where uh, we have a fictitious employee called Scott, who we suspect may be doing the wrong thing. Our business um, often collects like credit card details from clients and we want to ensure we compliant with the PCI DSS, which stands for payment card industry data security standard. So if Scott is sharing the file from the Google Drive, which contains the credit card details of clients to his own personal email address, then we can alert our manager and block the sharing. So this way we have proof of who is doing the wrong thing and we can take action against him or her. So let me show you how to do it. So to do that, you have to log into your Google admin console and then in there, you need to click on rules. After that, you just need to click on add a new rule. And then here we'll just create a blank template. We can name this template, uh, let's say test credit card policy. Uh, we're taking an example of credit card. So I'm going to name it as test credit card policy. So this will trigger if someone is sharing file from Google Drive. And then we'll add a condition. So users. So we'll apply this. <clears throat> sorry, so we'll, we'll apply this to whole organizational unit. So whoever shares the file then we'll get the notification. The manager will get the notification. So what type of content? So it should match sensitive contents like uh, credit card details. So in here we select global credit card. We can also select global bank account numbers. And as per Australia, we have Medicare account number or tax file number if someone shares the file with these numbers, then uh, the manager will get the notification. So in this case, we just put credit card number. And then click done. And then in action. So what do we do we want to do after like if someone shares those um, sensitive information. We can notify to super administrator that can be the manager or CEO. And in Google Drive, like after he, he or her, uh, he or she shares the information, we can block external access so that so that like even they share the information, no one can access it. Click on done and create and activate. All right, so there you go, as simple as that. And so by this rule in Google Drive, it scans for Google Docs, Google Sheets and Slides. So three type of file format from Google Drive, it, share, uh, it scans. And then if it, uh, it finds any, any credit card number, then it will uh, notify the super user. So finally, thank you for watching this video. Please visit our website onsitehelper.com for more how-to guides and videos on G Suite and other IT best practices. Thank you.